is our escape. So how do we escape that hold? Kezakatami. So here's a little practice you can do to help this for the first one. So the first one is going to be a back escape. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to lie on your back and you're going to practice rolling your far arm across your hip here. So I'm going to go opposite. So I'm going to push and roll over to the far side. So I'm going to push my hips up, not just up here. I'm going to push and roll onto one shoulder and stretch over here. Push and roll. Okay, so I'm going to do, if I move myself around so you can see, you can see I'm pushing onto one shoulder up and through. One shoulder here. Okay, so get yourself ready. We'll do these to count. You ready? So itch, knee, stand, sheet, go, rock, sitch, ash, cur, jerk. Good. So from here, another thing that you're going to use is you need to get to your hip. So it's really important when you do some of these techniques that you get to your hip and up onto your knees here. So when you're doing this next one, look to try and get yourself from here. Push on towards that shoulder. So now you're onto that hip. And from here, push your knees out. So now we're here, okay? From there, push onto your knees and through. So now we're gonna mix the two. So we're getting around onto those knees. So push over the shoulder, turn onto those knees with as little touch on the floor as you can, okay? So from here, probably this is probably the best angle. We'll perhaps do it like this. Do them all together, you ready? So push here onto those knees here. Okay, back, push onto those knees and back. Push over the shoulder, onto those knees and back up. Push onto those knees and back. From here, to your back, push onto the knees and back. And one more, push onto the knees and back up. So that's the movement that you're going to use in Kezagatami. So now, a couple of ways to practice this. One, get your dummy, lay them on top of you, put their head underneath you like a pillow, here. So your arm would be trapped there. Now Derek's gone and got me here. So now what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to push towards Derek and push my arm over to the, sh to the floor. So I bridge and push. Now I'm going to turn onto my knees and bring my head out and take hold of the back. Go here again. So from here, Derek's gone and got hold of me here in Kezagatame. From there, arm over the back. So you can see the arm that's around my head, that side arm goes over. So I push up and over onto my shoulder. I turn onto my knees, bring my head out. Okay. So from here, from there, up over the shoulder, turn onto my knees and then out. Sorry, just losing my mic there. I don't want you to miss what I'm saying. So, back, mic sorted, we're back on it. So, get your dummy, one more on this side. From here, bridge over the shoulder, turn onto your knees, and out. So now I'm gonna get Derek on my other side, from here, so that you can see the other angle. So he's on the opposite side, arms underneath my head. So from here, sorry Derek, let me punch you in the head. So from here, I'm gonna roll over, head out, and now taking it back. So from here, he's got his arm underneath my hand, he's holding me in Keza. I push over, turn, bring my head out, and through. And again, arm underneath my head, from here, push over that shoulder onto my knees, head out. And from here again, Arm underneath, arm over the back, one, two, off my knees, and out. So here, that's, so that's one way we can practice that uh, initial escape. So the other way, what we can do, you get yourself something like a football or a medicine ball or anything like that, or a bag that's got a bit of weight in it from here, then what we can do is we can put this on the arm that we're bridging with. So here they've got me in Kezi I'm going to push up and over and practice keeping pressure on that ball. Here, from that, I'm going to push up and over, practice hold, maintaining the pressure. Here, up, over, and through. 
up, over and through. Let's try the other side. So from here, up, over and through with the ball. Even if the ball's not that heavy, up and over. It's still good practice because it makes you put yourself in the right positions. So it's, it's hanging in this arm to the arm that I really need to push. Push, up, over and through. One more. Then push onto that shoulder, onto my knees and then I'm through. Another one you can practice, if you've got it, either grab yourself with your belt or if you've got something like a stretchy band or anything like that. It doesn't really matter which one you have, it's just a concept that you're going to put underneath something heavy, so I've just got this. You can just use a chair or a person, so from here, all I'm going to do is get hold of my belt and the resistant band and put them on here. So these, you can use either of these, don't think you've got to have both. So now what I'm practicing is the pull. So here I need to pull to go and get that elbow out. So pull to go and get that elbow out and up. Because one thing that will happen is your arms, this is the person, often we're going to get caught on their leg or in their, it'll be in their hand here. I want to go and get this down to the ground. One of the keys of this escape is getting that down to the ground. So this and pull is really important. So I'm here, I'm going to pull in here. So my arms out there, pull in. I say you can do a resistant band if it's on the other side. Here, pull in and turn. Here. I'm here, pulling that side, pushing that side, pull in and turn. We then put them together. So we're going to get this ball, get the belt, and then we pull in, and then we pull over here. So we're putting this arm out of their grasp. From here, pull as I turn myself over. So I'm pushing this arm, pulling this. I need to get onto my hip. That's what I'm looking to do. So here, so now, here, I'm onto my hip, but I'm not going to stay there and continue onto my legs. Here, one more. Here, pull up and over. So then we try with the other side. So you've got resistant bands. That would probably work a bit better. Here, pull up and over. Here, pull up and over. And pull up and over. One other thing you can do to help yourself with that one is just grab yourself a little bit of padding. So if you grab yourself your gi, fold your gi up so it's nice and compact or anything like that, a cushion would do. Put your gi there. Get your elbow on the gi, grab your belt. So now I need to pull my elbow off of the gi onto the floor because I don't want them hanging my arm up in the air. I need to pull it out. So that's another little thing you can do. Practice that. Belt, ball, gi, push and pull your elbow out. Okay? Do it on the other side. So pull. Pull and push and get your elbow off of that gi. Pull your elbow off of that gi. So what I'll do next, I'll show you on a person so you can see how Keza, that back take from Keza really works. And then we'll move on to the next one. Oliver's going to come put me into Keza Gitami. So that's one arm around the, the neck. So if your partner doesn't know what they're doing, don't panic. So just one arm around the neck and try and get roughly into a position. So on their side and then they've got their, your head like in a semi sort of headlock. So now remember, I bridged and pushed this arm over his shoulder. Through. Pull this elbow out, head comes out, and then continue that pressure on as I go through. So from here, arm goes over his shoulder, push one, head out, and through. Now remember we said about pulling this elbow out, if you find that they've got hold of your elbow here, there, what I'm going to do is make sure I really pull this elbow down. So here, push one, get that elbow to the mat, bring the head out, and there's one of your escapes from Keza Katami. So the next one from there is the bear hug roll. So very similar process. So these are just two that you could use. So from here, this time what we do, instead of doing a cross and over, we're just going to tip and turn here. I'm going to tip our hips up and then we're going to scoot this hip so we're not just going to sort of turn here I'm going to take that hip underneath okay and you see what we're doing in a second I'm going to push 
tuck my hips underneath and get myself back to my knees. Very similar to the last one, but I'm not stretching over this time. I'm pulling up. So I'm pulling up, turn, and through. So the way this works on that dummy is, again, Derek and dummy had you in Kezikatami. I'm gonna put my arms around the back, grab hold of it. I'm gonna pull him onto my chest, and then I'm gonna turn him, because this hand's underneath my head, I'm gonna turn over here. And bear hug roll, I could turn this one. Bear hug roll him over my body. So I grab hold of him, Keza, arms underneath me, grab hold, push up, and turn. Here, shot on the other side. He's one got me in Keza Gitame. Grab hold, I bear hug roll him onto my chest, and now he's sweeping my cross over the top. So from here, one got him in Keza Gitame. Bear hug roll him, then pull him up, nice and high, turn, and roll him over you. Again, we can do this with a, a ball. So from here, start with the ball here, like be on my chest. Pull it up from here, and then I'm gonna roll him over to one side. And come back, bridge and roll, bridge him up, and then roll him over. From here, bridge and roll, turn him over here, roll him across you. So there's another escape um, that you could use and go through. I will show you um, on a person. So your final escape from Kezakatami was the bear hug roll. So from here, we'll start from this position. Same thing, Kezikitami. So this time, we're gonna go the other way. So we're gonna take our partner across us. So last time I went over Oliver, Oliver's gonna go over me. So I'm gonna pull him up towards my chest and bring him up and I'm gonna walk around to Kezikitami. So he will me sit back up, Kezikitami. Here, I bridge him onto my chest. Here, take him over me here. And throw and sit yourself up, Oles. Once more. Grab hold, get hold of your grip, whether it's like grabbing your own arm, grabbing the gi, this sort of S grip, whatever. Make sure it's tight, hug them in, bridge them onto your chest. Middle of your chest, draw over, and through. And you're in Kezi Gitami. And then we're ready for the next bit. Um, what you need to be able to do, remember re, re is bow, okay? So in here, one of your key words is re. Hedgeman means start or begin. And mate means stop. So you've got re, bow, head face, start doing stuff, what you're supposed to be doing, mate, stop. Okay? Brilliant. Well, well done for this video, watching this video. Hopefully you found it useful, and that's the first one syllabus all the way through. Thank you very much for watching, Maurice. Re, thank you very much.